724 says for each of the following data sets use table 4 or the t table to bracket the two tailed p value of the data of, as analyzed by the t test. Use the degrees of freedom given. So part A says uh, sample 1, we have sample 2. All right, n is 8 and 5. Y bar is 100.2, 106.8 for sample 2. Uh, the standard error is uh, standard error for the difference is equal to 5.7 with degrees of freedom equal to 10. So for A, um, the uh, our T statistic is going to be uh, Y bar 1 minus Y bar 2 minus 0 over the standard error, uh, 5.7. So in this case, we have 100.2 minus 106.8 divided by 5.7. 100.2 minus 106.8. So we have negative 6.6 .6 divided by 5.7 is equal to negative 1.158. And we go to 10 degrees of freedom. And if we look at 10 degrees of freedom, 1.158, uh, so we're going to have to look at the positive side. So 1.158 is between uh, 0 0.879, 0 0.879, and 1.372. Okay, 0 0.879 corresponds to um, upper tail probability is equal to 0 0.20 and 0 0.132 upper tail probability is equal to 10.10 uh, 10. so double that because it's a uh, two-tailed um, two-tailed p-value um, that means our p-value is going to be between 0.4 is greater than our p-value which is going to be greater than 20 0 0.2 Okay, so our um, part A uh, goes to, um, let's see, where can I write this? Uh, well, anyway, part A, 0.2 less than p-value less than 0.4. Okay, so let's do the same for part B, except now our numbers... Um, we have 8, 8, and then y bar 1 is 49.8, and y bar 2 is 44.3, and we're given that the standard error is 1.9, and the degrees of freedom is equal to 13. So if we did our n1 plus n2 minus 2, we would have 14 degrees of freedom. Uh, the true degrees of freedom according to this is 13. And so here, our T statistic, it looks like my pen is running out of ink. Our T statistic is going to be, whoops, um, 49.8 minus 44.3 uh, minus 0 divided by 1.9. So 49.8 minus 44.3. 5.5 divided by 1.9 so we have 2.895 okay we go to 13 degrees of freedom and the closest numbers I can find for 2.895 we have 2.6045 for 13 degrees of freedom, 2.650. And the corresponding p-value to 2.650 is 0 0.01. And then 
Next up is 3.012. So 2.895 falls in between there, and this is 0 0.005. Okay, so double for the two tail probability means our p value is between 0.02. Oops. Uh, and 1%. So part B, we've got 0 0.01 is less than our p-value, less than 2%. Okay, and then part C, this is more of the same. Uh, we've got sample size of 10, sample size of 15, um, y-bar is 3.58, 3.00, standard error is 0.12, and degrees of freedom is 19. So again, um, if they give us the degrees of freedom, we'll just use what they give us. Otherwise, we'll use N1 plus N2 minus 2. So here, our T statistic is equal to 3.58 minus 3.00 minus 0 divided by 0.12. We have 4.833. Now we look up into our t table degrees um, with 19 degrees of freedom. All right, uh, 4.833. The closest number I can find is 3.883. Okay, so 3.883, and that corresponds to point. 0005 okay going um, and there's nothing beyond that uh, the next closest would be 2.861 okay so clearly 4.833 and that's 0 0.005 so clearly 4.833 is beyond this side okay <clears throat> so doubling that this is going to be 0 0.001 the p-value is going to be 0 0.001, but it's on this side, which means our p-value is even smaller. Okay, the t-values get bigger as we get further and further away from the center. So here at 4.833, that's going to be even smaller. And so for part C, our p-value, all we conclude is our p-value is less than 0 0.00. One. We just don't have um, any more precision uh, than that in our t-tables. Okay, so that's 724.